Welcome to a lesson on the types of linear equations. In this video we will define and identify an identity, conditional equation, and contradiction equation. We'll also illustrate the three types of linear equations graphically. Let's first consider the type of linear equation that we're used to solving. A conditional equation is an equation that is only true for a specific value of the variable, which is the solution. If the conditional equation is not linear, it is possible to have more than one solution. As an example, let's solve two x minus one equals five. This is the basic two-step equation, so for the first step, we'll undo the subtraction by adding one to both sides of the equation. Notice how minus one plus one simplifies to zero, so now we have two x equals six. So the second step will be to divide both sides by two, giving us a solution of x equals three which means this equation is only true when x equals three, therefore this is a conditional linear equation. To verify this graphically, we can graph the left side and right side of this equation separately on the coordinate plane. For example, we can graph y one equals two x minus one and y two equals positive five. Let's do this and see what we find. So we'll press y equals We'll first type in two x minus one, press enter, and then type in five. To make sure we have the standard window, let's go ahead and press zoom six. There's a graph of y one, there's a graph of y two. Notice how these two linear equations intersect at this point here where the x coordinate is equal to positive three, which is the solution to our conditional equation. To verify this point of intersection, Let's press second trace, option five, and then enter three times. Notice that this point that is on both lines has an x-coordinate of three, which is our solution, and the y-coordinate is five, which means both sides of this equation are equal to five when x equals three. To verify this numerically, we can press second graph to access the table. Notice when x equals positive three, both y one and y two are equal to positive five. Now let's talk about an identity. An identity is an equation that is always true and has infinite solutions. For example, one equals one is an identity because it is always true. The solution of a linear equation that is an identity can be expressed as having infinite solutions, or we can say x can be any real number, or x is in the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity, indicating x can be any real value. For example, if we're asked to solve this given linear equation, let's first clear the parentheses by distributing. So we would have two x minus six equals on the right side, we also have two x minus six. So we should recognize at this point that for any value of x, the left side would equal the right side since the expressions are the same. And therefore we have an identity, but if we didn't recognize this, we can continue solving by subtracting two x on both sides of the equation. However, notice when we do this, both on the left side and the right side, the x terms simplify out, leaving us with negative six equals negative six, which is always true, Again, indicating that we have an identity, and therefore the linear equation has an infinite number of solutions. Or we could also indicate that x can be any real number, or x can be any real number in the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. Let's verify this graphically as well. So we'll graph y one equals two x minus six, and y two equals the right side, or two times the quantity x minus three. We'll press y equals, clear out the old equations, and type in the new equations. So we have two x minus six, and we have two times the quantity x minus three. Now to make sure we can tell these two linear equations apart, I'm gonna go to the far left for y two, press enter once, so y two will be a thick line, y one will be a thin line. So I'll press graph. Notice how it's the exact same line, which means for any value of x, 
the point would be on both lines at the same time, indicating we have an infinite number of solutions, or the equation is an identity. To verify this numerically, if we press second graph, notice how for any value of x, y1 and y2 are equal, again indicating we have an identity, or an infinite number of solutions. And the last type of equation is a contradiction. A contradiction is an equation that is always false and has no solution. We can also say that the equation is inconsistent. For example, zero equals one is a contradiction because it is always false. We can write the solution to a contradiction using the empty set symbol, using this notation here or this notation here, or by just stating we have no solution. So if we want to solve the given linear equation, again, let's first clear the parentheses, so we'll distribute. This would give us one-half x minus one-half equals one-half x plus two. We may recognize at this point that since the variable term is the same and the constants are different, this equation will have no solution and therefore is a contradiction. Again, if we don't, we can continue solving by subtracting one-half x on both sides. Once again, notice that on both sides, the x terms simplify out, leaving us with negative one-half equals positive two. But in this case, we know this is not true, and therefore this is always false, indicating we have no solution indicating our linear equation is a contradiction equation, and we can also say that x belongs to the empty set. Let's finish by verifying this graphically, so we'd have y1 equals one-half times the quantity x minus one, and y2 equals one-half x plus two. Let's go back to the calculator, again, clear out the old equations. First equation is one-half times the quantity x minus one. Second equation is one-half x plus two. Let's press graph. There's y1, there's y2. Notice how these two lines are parallel and therefore they never intersect, indicating there are no values of x for which the y values would be the same or that the left side of the equation would equal the right side, therefore we have no solution in an equation that is a contradiction. If we press second graph, we can see numerically that for any value of x, y1 will never equal y2. That's gonna do it for this lesson. I'll leave you with a summary of the three types of linear equations. Hope you found this explanation helpful.